What's up? I'm travel photographer Brendan Vanson of brendansadventures.com and I'm on location in the beautiful town of Whistler, British Columbia. So I've made it out from Alberta to Whistler, British Columbia, which is Canada's premier winter and ski destination. And it is absolutely beautiful out here. There's also a lot of things to do. On this quick three-day trip alone, we're gonna be going zip lining, we're gonna ski Whistler Blackcomb two times, and we're probably even gonna get a spa day in as well. It should be really fun. And of course, we'll get some photography in as well. So our first adventure here in Whistler is to head out zip lining with Zip Trek. And it's gonna be awesome. Awesome. It's a little bit of a different experience than I'm used to zip lining because we're going to be going in dusk and even at night they've got one zip line that's super fast. I'm told you can go as fast as 80, 90 kilometers an hour. It should be fun. Let's get up there. Ziplining yesterday afternoon was a ton of fun, so a big shout out to the guys at Zip Trek for taking us out there and keeping us safe. We had a blast, absolutely awesome. When we were done that, we headed to the Fire and Ice Show where they create like this big ring of fire and then they have skiers and snowboarders tossing like backflips and crazy tricks through it. It was a lot of fun, but it was really, really difficult to shoot. It was just really hard to find a focus in the really dark, but we tried and we had a lot of fun at that too. It was really impressive to see them. Today we're hitting the mountains. I'm up really early and we're gonna hit the slopes right away. It's absolutely stunning outside. We get perfect blue skies today. So I think over the next two days, I'm gonna try to shoot a little bit of footage on the GoPro, but what I really wanna focus on is doing some adventure or some ski snowboard photography in the snow parks. So at the jumps, at the rails and that sort of stuff. So let's get out there, let's ski a little bit and let's do some photography as well. So we just finished skiing our second day here at Whistler Blackcomb, and I'll tell you, my puppies are screaming. My legs and feet are absolutely burning. I tell you, you haven't skied in like six, seven years like I haven't, and you find muscles in your legs that you forgot you had. 
it's tough work up there, but absolutely beautiful. The runs were really cool and I had an absolute blast. Right now, I think we're headed to a spa to kind of relax a little bit to a Scandinavian spa. And then I think we're gonna go shoot some of the nightlife out in Whistler tonight, maybe get some live music in. Let's go do it. That's it for this on location video here in the beautiful resort town of Whistler, British Columbia. We've had an awesome time here. We had one day on the mountain that was blue skies and amazing views. We had another day that it was a little bit tougher conditions, a little bit of light snow and a touch of rain, but it was still beautiful. We had fun zip trekking, we had fun at the spa, we had fun all over the place. There was some great food here too. If you're a foodie, go check out a place called the Sushi Village. I'm a massive sushi fan and that place was un believable. We also went to have like a fine, fine, fine dining experience at the Barefoot Bistro. That place was unreal. We had like a five course meal that was out of this world. And then we did a vodka tasting in a room that was like minus 25. It was, it was an experience. I'll tell you that much. It was one of those experiences everybody should have the opportunity to have as a traveler. It was unreal. So big thanks to those places for being awesome. I also want to give a big thanks to the Delta Village Suites. We're here in their beautiful hotel and it's been so comfortable. It's actually been a little bit difficult because the bed in that room is so comfortable. When morning comes, you don't want to get out of it to go experience town. It is that comfortable. So massive shout out to the Delta Village Suites here in Whistler. So that's it for the show here. I'm also gonna have another video from Whistler in the coming days in which I'm gonna be comparing the 6D to the 7D Mark II using image samples from here in Whistler. So that should be cool for you to check out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, to stay tuned to the latest. When we're done here in Whistler, we're heading off to uh, the United States for a great American road trip for a couple months. That should be unreal. So yeah, definitely stay subscribed to the channel for the latest, and I'll catch you next time. Later.